Well, since the Harvey Weinstein scandal, people, of course, have taken to the streets protesting right round the world. It has become part of the Me Too movement to fight gender discrimination. Well, the campaign has become a global phenomenon, but in China it hasn't quite, and that is due to heavy internet censorship. But in universities, a movement is emerging, focusing on petitions around sexual harassment. Some advocates worry, though, that the movement might face government opposition if it grows too large. Well, joining me now to discuss this uh, from our New York bureau is Lita Hong Fincher, author of Betraying Big Brother, The Feminist Awakening in China. Thanks so much for joining us. Just first of all, uh, how much has the censorship in China done to quell the spread of this overall message that we've seen elsewhere? Uh, well, there's no question that the very heavy internet censorship in China has, um, has certainly prevented the movement from going viral in the way that it has in other countries. But what is really astounding to me is that in spite of the heavy internet censorship, in spite of the lack of press freedom and lack of freedom of assembly in China, that there have been dozens of universities across China where uh, students, mainly women, but also occasionally men, are, are signing these petitions demanding that universities address the problem of widespread sexual harassment and all kinds of sexual violence on campus. And uh, can you give us some examples of, of what you've learned is happening? Well, um, Me Too was rather slow to catch on, which is to be expected given the very heavy internet monitoring and censorship. Um, and also the fact that state media um, have largely not reported on the phenomenon. Um, but feminist activists in China who have been rather persecuted over the last two years have taken up this cause, the Me Too cause, and um, some of them have actually initiated um, open letters themselves. There's one prominent feminist activist, Xiao Mei Li, who wrote an open letter to her university um, demanding that her university take on the issue of sexual harassment and several hundred people signed her petition. Um, but these petitions are, are quite organic. So it's, it's really amazing to have this form of what is really a collective action taking place all across China centered on university campuses. And how are the universities reacting? And, and, you know, if this movement becomes very strong, how do you think the authorities will react? Well, we already see that the government is paying close attention. First of all, China's Ministry of Education has already jumped in and announced that it's going to introduce, an, uh, introduce a nationwide mechanism to address sexual harassment complaints at all universities in China. Um, but I've also heard uh, from some of the women who've signed these petitions that, that there are Communist Party branches at university campuses who are already talking to professors, who are then talking to students who sign the petitions, asking them who is the organizer. Um, were you in contact with, quote unquote, foreign forces who are trying to interfere in China's affairs. So there's no doubt that the government sees the potential for this Me Too movement to become larger and a broader criticism of the Communist Party. And um, it, so it, it's, it's really impressive that it's happening. Um, at the same time, I'm kind of concerned about what the government backlash may be. And, and can you give me an example of, of what sort of complaints women are making? Well, the fact is that uh, sexism and misogyny and sexual harassment, sexual assault, domestic violence, all kinds of sexual violence are uh, extremely widespread in China. This has been a long-standing problem and um, occasionally the local media report on it but um, there is really no, uh, no recourse for victims of sexual violence of any kind in China. Okay. And, yet, um, I, and yet the problem is extremely widespread. But this is the first time that you've had really uh, 
many hundreds, if not thousands of people who are using their real names, uh, signing petitions and demanding action. Um, it's the first time that this has happened, uh, okay. really, it, at least in several decades. Sorry, sorry to interrupt there, Lita Hong Finch, you're out of time. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us.